Philip Schofield. I'm gone. Dancing on ice. I've been dancing on thin ice for too long. I'm gone. But I'm not really gone. I've got a new prime time show and I've got this and I've got that. And Holly Willoughby, oh, yes, yeah, she's going to continue doing this morning with somebody else, the rest of the team. I'm not gone by any means. Uh, there's going to be all sorts of fallout. We've talked a little bit about ITV. And you will hear uh, from uh, Ali Ross, of course, the Sun's TV critic, who I spoke to earlier in the show, with his thoughts. But this is the most, one of the most bizarre moments that I've ever had in 47 years of broadcasting is that I am now going to interview the man whose program this is having sat in for him because he couldn't do it and as having a, a well-earned day off having worked so brilliantly to help talk TV to some fantastic figures for both the TV and radio audience and Kev who is the is the uh, presenter of this show, Kevin O'Sullivan, uh, is joining me right now. Kevin. Hello, Sags. I, I knew I'd left the show in safe hands. <laughs> You're doing a great job. I'll tell Thank you what, you though. When, it, when, it, when we heard it uh, half an hour before the show was underway, the big breaking story, I said, yeah. ah, it's a bit like um, uh, Kev having to do the... Um, that Gareth Southgate has uh, just resigned as the England yeah, manager. Right, yeah, yeah, so come yeah, on, yeah, I mean, yeah. this is this is a massive story that you're going to be all over all week on everything you're doing as usual. What what was your first thoughts on this? Because I think you've been ahead of the game with this one, knowing knowing that his time yeah, was was nearly up. Well, yeah, the, the clock has been ticking now for two weeks. Uh, more and more stories, both sides briefing, Holly's people briefing, Schofield's people briefing the newspapers. Uh, the truth was that these people used to be the best of friends, those two. They were the golden couple. They were the big hosts. Uh, but people can smell uh, fakery. They can smell insincerity. And what's happened is their friendship is over and they're pretending to be friends on screen. And it was Car Crash TV... Uh, some people at ITV felt, well, we're all over the front pages, people will tune in. Well, what's happened is, uh, over this past mm. disastrous week, because of this frosty relationship between Phil and Holly, uh, 500,000 people have tuned out. So uh, that is a catastrophe. And uh, you, you can tell, if you look at um, Phil Schofield's statement, that he's been told to go. Yeah. You know, he just said, you've got to go. So, in effect, it's like, that's it. Thank you very much for your 21 years, but uh, you've become too toxic. We want to keep Holly. You have to go. So, uh, the end of an era. It, it is on that, but um, it, if Philip, uh, as uh, oh, well, Kevin Liger would say this, wouldn't he? You know, Philip is yeah. hands down one of the best broadcasters of his generation. We thank him for his two yeah. decades of being on this morning's sofa. But uh, Philip himself sort of saying, um, you, you know, I'm not going anywhere particularly. I've got other things that I'm now going to be doing as well, a new prime time show. ITV are in, all, in a real mess now, aren't they, on all sorts of things? Well, yes. I mean, what's happened with Schofield? Is, I mean, he's being bought off. They don't want him to do the flagship daytime show anymore. They don't want him to be Mr. This Morning. So in that time-honoured fashion, it's old Phil, you know, you're still doing the soap awards and don't forget to we're going to do your own prime time show. He's being bought off. I mean, make no mistake, this is a, a sort of slight... This is a humiliation for Schofield. He's, in effect, being pushed aside and we heard stories that Holly, now that their friendship has dissolved into a kind of antipathy, that Holly has been saying to the bosses, listen, either he goes or I do. And they've made the choice that Holly is more valuable to them mm. than uh, Schofield. And Schofield has become very unpopular with the viewers. That, that's mm. the problem. There's also, um, and uh, your viewers that uh, I've uh, found who, who obviously uh, very much in touch with uh, everything that you say every week here yeah. At, yeah. on all of our messaging uh, platforms at Talk TV on your show. I'm yeah. amazed at how many are also against Holly here. I'm, I, I'm, I'm wondering whether that, that, you know, these things do have a, a, a lifetime that just finally sort of come, peters out or comes to an end. I mean, do you think that she has got long to go? Well, I think that uh, the bosses definitely want... Uh, my guess would be they're going to try her out with Alison Hammond. Alison Hammond has been doing yeah. Fridays with Dermot O'Leary. Uh, she's very popular. And I think the bosses still think there's mileage in Holly that uh, the viewers still do. So I think they might hook those two up. 
So, together. so the, w uh, forgive me, because I don't watch an awful lot of daytime uh, television uh, yeah. at, at the moment. And uh, what I would say, though, is if you've got uh, Holly and Alison, uh, yeah. you've got Lorraine, uh, then you've got Loose Women, yeah. I presume is still on. Got a lot of women there. Well, they're, 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 men have, men have been cancelled like on ITV. They like that, sex. Sex yeah, but, that's what they like. Well, they, the, 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 yeah, they might like it, but you know what? The viewers don't completely well, like yeah, that. Well, yeah, well, this is the, this is the problem. The, you know, the Schofield problem is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, ITV is uh, mired in deep difficulties, uh, mainly because it's sort of forgotten its audience. It seems to be at war with its audience, uh, foisting all this wokery on them. Uh, rather than the good old solid programmes they yeah. used to do. So the, so the share price is plummeting, ratings are plummeting. Uh, it, ITV has lost track uh, of, of the connection it used to have with its, you know, mainly blue-collar audience and nothing like that. No. Uh, yeah. You know, it, ITV is a sort of uh, Blackpool prom of of television, yeah. and 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 that's uh, that's great. But it it seems to have lost that uh, magic touch, that common touch. If you see what you're, I mean. you're, you're spot on because I think they're doing in entertainment what they did in regional news in a different way. You know, they brought groups together that should be kept apart at times yeah. because they all yeah. want something slightly different. Do you have any thoughts on who you might like to see sitting alongside Holly if it's not Alison, or is it definitely going to be the, the two girls together? Well, I will be the two girls together because the other thing ITV will want to uh, uh, display is that, you know, they're not going to be uh, kowtowed by the tradition of what a male and a female. So I think... Two females would send a good message. That would be my my guess. Uh, the show. The thing about this morning is, it, it, it's, it's the old adage: no, no one is bigger than the show. No. And also, when when Phil and Holly took time off and different presenters came in, they never lost any viewers. No. So uh, it's it's not a disaster. He had to go though because uh, he became toxic and the viewers just went off. Yeah. So uh, that that story's over. You know. Brilliant, Kev. Good to talk to you. Thank you for letting me present your show for you as well. Well, thank you for doing it. Uh, look after it. I uh, will. We'll talk next week. Cheers, Excellent. Mate. That's Kevin O'Sullivan. He'll be back here, of course, next week as well. He's got loads more shows.